Alright, so I thought I would share my OBS settings for the Ryzen 5 1400 with a Ava Media C985 capture card. I've been through various settings, I've adjusted a lot, I've made various changes, I've had screen tears, um, there's been many issues, many issues, and it took a bit of give and take, give and take. So what I've finalised is on my capture card um, I've gone with 1080 1080p at 30 frames now I did want 60 frames as everyone does with this card you're limited you can either have 1080 at 30 frames or you can have 720 at 60 frames I've played with 70 to 720 I'm not happy with the picture quality personally I've tried upscaling to 1080 at the other end still weren't too impressed um, I've even tried to <laughs> do 60 frames at the other end, even though it's coming at 30, hoping it can trick it. That made it really juddery and it didn't look good. It was a complete and utter mess. So after much uh, playing about, I've ended up with 1080 at 30 frames, which you know I'm surprised it actually looks alright. It's perfectly fine. So 1080 at, six, at 30 frames. Then we go into settings and video is make sure your common value is the same because it would it normally defaults at 60 um, but it was the point of it coming in at 30 just keep it 30 30 because then it is smooth it's smooth as butter lovely jubbly it looks good downscale filter I'm using Lank I can't even pronounce it but one <laughs> Lankzos or whatever it pronounces that so anyway there's three there you've got bilinear something else and the other one so do that one keep all these together 1080 1080 you don't have to um, scale it down to 720 with this setting um, bear in mind obviously it's specific to this setup I, mean, I don't know like a better CPU can obviously be fine anything less maybe you need to consider the settings a bit so streaming um, 4500 bit rate with CBR rate control I'm using my the software encoder for the CPU uh, CPU usage very fast you can test faster if you want to push it I think the faster the, the, the lower these numbers are the what the settings the, the the better the quality but it's incredibly CPU intensive um, so far I found very fast is fine I might test faster later see what happens but I think it's going to push the system to be honest profile is main I know it's only but you're only supposed to use main or high I'm not sure which one's preferable I'm I've been using main and it's perfectly fine which so I'm sticking with it so that's the streaming side and you go on recording you do need to put it all on advanced by the way at the top because that's usually on simple um, so you go on recording and I'm using MKV um, MP4 is the widely used um, option uh, but the problem with MP4 is if you if you have an error or system shut down unexpectedly or crashes you will lose the ability to even watch that video let alone use it um, and a lot of time there's a lot of lot of lot of effort gone into these videos so you don't want to lose the efforts you put in simply for a file format so the two realistic options are FLV and MKV I don't know much about the two differences I've done some research I've tried to look into it um, MKV is apparently a little bit like it's better quality. I was previously using FLV and I didn't have too many issues with it, but I'm blown away. MKV has been fine. With MKV, you can have multiple audio tracks. So if you've got different audio devices and whatnot, you can do more tracks. Um, so like I say, encoder, I'm using software, so it's X264. I'm not adjusting the resolution. What it's, what it's coming in at is what it's staying at. Um, so rate control CBR bit rate 12,000 I put now I did see someone else's recommendation of 40,000 which I was using for a while the video sizes were ridiculous of so something from like 12 gig to 20 <laughs> and that's a lot of upload that's a long time uploading and it's unnecessary to be honest it's, that's it's just resource intensive and isn't it? what's the point what's the point I've tested 12,000 as a I just tested it it come out perfectly fine so now I'm sticking with it I'm not really seeing if the size is fine I think 20 minute video was um, 1.2 gig so it's not too big it's not too big it's fine that's perfectly fine in my eyes from what it was um, CPU usage very fast profile mains it's the same as before 
um, audio 320 I put um, anything from 128 to 320 it definitely don't go 96 or anything like that that'd, that'd be poor um, the higher the better but obviously if you're streaming it might be better off dropping that might be worth dropping that for streams to 128 I think or 192 um, so that's what I've got mine all set at video there um, and then, then my settings and it works it works smooth as butter um, I'm going to show a video now um, of the recording now the recording is zoomed in a little bit because my head is in the corner and it's going to match where I am now and we're going to have a bit of an issue where the head's moving at a different different time I am and it's going to look like I'm sort of a mutant <laughs> and I don't need that so I've zoomed in so you lose a bit of quality if you want to see the real video the full video you can see on the channel and look them up there um, so let's get rid of this display capture which is driving me nuts <laughs> so this is train sim world it is zoomed in I don't know if you can clearly see that it is uh, you can see my head in the background there just behind my chair so you can get like, an idea of how zoomed in it is but for me personally the picture quality is absolutely fine the video is smooth you're not getting any juddery you're not getting any screen tear which I think is more important than the big picture quality to be honest it's vital that your recordings are smooth after that you can sort of look at your details but the 1200 bit rate it's perfectly fine perfectly fine it looks good enough to me um, and you can, yeah you got you got to bear in mind it is zoomed in so you obviously the zoomed more zoomed out the more finer it gets but hopefully these settings, settings have helped someone else and tweak them you know have a little mess about but start that as your baseline as your um, your default settings and then you can tweak them a little bit you check maybe modify the CP usage um, if you have any issues change it from very fast to um, uh, I think it's ultra fast or really or it's one of them just go back one if your file sizes are too big you don't like the file sizes drop the bit rate down from maybe 1200 to 8000 see how you get on with that um, little things really just little little tweaks you can always mess about a bit a little bit anyway hopefully it helps other people